Okay, I know it's a trucking game video, but I thought it was about time I did a bit of fat chewing. So let's uh, let's chew some fat, shall we? Uh, let's get our game on. Get ready for the audio. Okay, so I'm in my Nuremberg garage. This is my profile that I've had since 2018. I've had this profile for four years now. This is my truck of choice. Du jour. It's a nice Scania S. Um, the super duper beefy bugger. And that's my trailer over there. It's the only trailer I've got. But um, I just thought I'd do. I thought I would do just a quick run, just so I can chew the fat, have a little chin wag and everything. Well, the house is empty except for me. I figured I'd just. Uh, do the do for a bit. Have a little. Have a little uh, waffle. Get back there, come on, son. Okay, that should be alright. Pretty damn perfect. So, yeah, that's my trailer. This is my truck. Um, oh, do you want to see my fleet? I'll show you my fleet. I've got a few. <laughs> Uh, where do we go? Truck manager. Uh, they are. How many have I got? I've got 230 drivers. Well, no, 228 drivers and 230 trucks. Uh, I've got two spare that I've not used in. There's a Renault T, which I, I've kept for myself and it's going to show up. Yeah, everything's in this uh, khaki livery. And I've got Dafex F105, which uh, also no one else is driving except for me. Everyone else is in Renault Premiums, as I said I was going to do. So yeah, this is my 2018 profile. Still going strong. Now let's go and do something with it, shall we? Let's see what the market's like for cargo. I'm looking for like aggregates, and I'd kind of like to go, I don't know, do I want to go Hanover? See, it's all about external, oh, external market. Oh. Would that count? Well, no, there's nothing for Hanover anyway. What do we reckon? Wren, that's an awful long way. Woods, that's an awful long way. Salzburg, yeah, it's not too far. Stuttgart. Let's just take that one. Let's um, go grab some rye. So yeah, let's wait for a million years for it to load. I'm playing this on Debian. On my main machine. Which is the one with the GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. Which is actually perfectly adequate for the likes of me. And the likes of the games that I play. Nothing coming. Golden. Yeah, it's nicely in the right lane. Yeah, playing with the keyboard because I always have, and it's what I'm used to. So the steering will be a little bit jerky around the old corners. Where are you going? You're going left. I'm going left. We can both go left together. I want to be in your lane. So what am I going to talk about? Well, I don't know if you were paying attention last night, but last night I put up a, one of them quickie videos. Um, and I did that from on the phone from the pub. And that was, well, I was rather drunk. I've been drinking since about one that afternoon. So that was probably the ideal time to do it. But I was basically bemoaning the fact that my local is is closing on the 11th. That's next 
Sunday. So that's a bit of a ball ache. But you know what? I've got mixed feelings. Because I've kind of already got another local that is anything but local. It's all the way over in Wallingborough. But that's great. If I've got to take a train trip to go to my favourite pub, which is what it is now, um, I'm going to think twice about going, aren't I? And also, I'm going to think twice about coming back again. Because uh got to make sure you catch the train, ain't you? When they're running. So yeah, that's the thing. I've long been of the opinion that beer plays far too big a role in my life at the minute. And I'm not in the least bit happy about it. Not least because it costs so much. And it's not going to get any cheaper either. So that's going to be a good thing. The demon drink. <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably make that just a weekend thing again, which is where it belongs, quite honestly. Of oh, course, it's better for the old health, isn't it? Better for the old sugar intake, too. Now, I'm trusting to look that the audio is all right. I'm listening to the game on headphones so that we don't get any bleed through from the speakers to the mic. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, what else is there to talk about? Well, I'm really happy with my install of Jim's uh, Lurcher OS. Now, he was saying something about maybe I can, now that it's got sort of like, I've got a system back system on one of my laptops, maybe I'll be making my own ghosty version of Lurcher OS. Well, you know what, I really haven't got much interest in doing that, quite honestly. Now, which way do I go to get that? No, 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 no. Backing up a trailer. It's all good practice, isn't it? That's totally the wrong way. Whoa. That's the right way. So I've got, I've got truck drones. Good grief! Do you know what? I've got truck driving simulator as well, and it's basically a driving test <laughs> by the makers of uh, Euro Truck Simulator. So basically, the God, I'm doing it again. It's basically for. Um, learning to back up a trailer and it's actually really pretty good so good that obviously I'm an absolute ace at it as you can see but no I haven't I haven't been playing it all that much it's popping up that bloody message again isn't it saying yeah you're a bit shit aren't you so Get around. I will get this right. By hook or by crook? Probably by crook. I don't look too bad in that mirror. It's remembering which way I've got to turn to get it to go a certain way. I it that way don't I? Yeah. That's not good is it? Which way am I even going? Straighten up and just back it straight in now I think.
This is why I've opted to have my own trailer for a while. It's to get used to reversing a trailer of a certain size. Brilliant, that's good. Right, E. And uh, they can load it up. Brilliant. I'll get extra XP for manoeuvring it, so it's worth it. And also it's good practice. Follow the route to the target company. Oh yeah, the target company. Of course. Lights on. And we are off. Okay, so what else? What else? Uh, my job is going well. I'm getting more responsibilities now. Just recently, um, it's I've been there a year now, so it's about blooming time, quite honestly. Uh, I'm doing a fair old bit of the drawing prior to cutting now, which is something that I can kind of thought that I'd be doing right from the get-go because um, it's very similar to stuff I've done before. Obviously, I mean. It's basically what my trade is, so anyway, so I'm doing more of that and I'm enjoying it more because it's filling in the blank hours when there's not anything to actually cut. Go around, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm doing the drawings for the next cut basically, so that's really good. Enjoying that, that's made the days a bit more fulfilling. I'm all on my own again next week because the other chap's off. which is great means I'll get to play with this machine too <laughs> so yeah I mean a lot of people say that you can't oh, don't want to be signaling just there a lot of people say you can't really play you can't really game on Linux but hogwash of course you can Ooh, hey. sneaking out there Jimmy lorry now I'm stuck behind a bleeding tanker I hate being stuck behind bleeding tankers so yeah, I mean this is uh, kind of like a this is kind of an entry level PC. I wonder if it can play my Euro truck quite happily. I'm playing it at 1920, 1080, and I'm scaling it down for recording to uh, 128720. Yeah, yeah. So what was I talking about? What was I talking about Linux in general and gaming on it? Yeah, you can game. Most things, most things. Obviously, not everything, because the games, in the main, aren't written for Linux. So, you know, there's always going to be problems if they're written for a completely different operating system, aren't there? Be naive to think that it won't be. Um, but most of the games that I like to play, I can play on here. I can play Doom 2016 on here quite happily. Oh God, I always messed this junction up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't really have a lot of time to change lane there. Yeah, yeah, so I've got. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about system back and everything like that. System back and Lurcher OS, Jim's Lurcher OS. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be using system back to make another operating system. Uh, my own personal one. I had enough doing that with uh, MX and it doesn't really serve any purpose. I'm not going to distribute it, I'm not going to get a SourceForge page or anything like that and basically host it because it's it's not, it's just um, it basically be Jim's operating system which is basically <laughs> Dev one, which is basically Debian, <laughs> so um, I won't be bringing anything new to the uh, 
to the table except perhaps a wallpaper and a bit of theming you know no I'm quite happy using Lurcher OS as is I may change the wallpaper in fact I probably will I mean I like dogs but I don't like them so much that I want to look at them every single day of the week on my desktop so this is what we're talking about what am I actually running Linux wise on my machines well I'm running Lurcher OS on that uh, low powered HP laptop I'm running MX21 uh, on the high powered HP laptop I'm running uh, I'm running Mio Linux XFCE on the i5 Toshiba Satellite Pro and I'm also running Mio Saluta Semplice on the upstairs satellite laptop not satellite pro just satellite um, on the desktops on this one I'm running Debian Bullseye and on the other one which is one you're used to seeing um, I'm running Void Linux so yeah I've got no windows anywhere because I don't need it and every time I use it I want to be using Linux <laughs> it's ridiculous isn't it so okay why do I want to be using Linux what is it that compels me to steer clear of Microsoft uh, well basically I don't trust it I don't trust it data mining I don't trust it sharing my information I don't trust it insisting on uh, having an online account with them these days if you're running Windows 11 you need to have an online account you need to oh, what is it uh, slow I was saying about it for like Windows 12 it won't install if you haven't got a forward-facing camera I mean how the hell does that work what if you've only got a desktop that doesn't have a webcam does that mean you can't install the next Windows I'm sure that can't be right regardless of that anyway there's back doors there's all things that they do to track what you're doing what you like so they can target you with adverts I mean when Windows didn't get covered with adverts it was fine now it's covered with adverts and it's watching your every move that you make now so if it's purely a privacy thing that's uh, keeping me away from the Windows you could say well that's naive because if you go online you're giving away your privacy there which is absolutely true it's absolutely true and we accept that that's kind of the deal isn't it if you use a free service like Google you expect them to want something back for offering the service and also with like Facebook and YouTube and things like that and uh, yes I know I'm asking people to block these ads but you know it used to be the deal that if you weren't monetized they wouldn't stick an ad on your video now they don't care they're just sticking out on it I don't like adverts right I don't like adverts they get in the way of the content I'm an old fuddy-duddy like that I was brought up on the BBC <laughs> for my sins so yeah I don't like all the advertising I don't like the invasion of my privacy when I'm offline um, I don't like the demands that they're gradually creeping into being as conditional for using their operating system in the first place. I should have checked my wearer before I pulled out. Uh, yeah, so, uh, okay. Does Linux not do that? Well, in the main, Linux does not do that. There are certain things that you can opt into if you would like to allow certain distro manufacturers to do what they call like popularity contest where they can gauge with your permission and if you so desire by ticking a box during install they will they will take note of what apps you install what programs you use how long you use them the uh, type of machine you're running it on but this is only conditional on you saying yes I don't mind you doing that you don't have to tick that box and the operating system will install just fine whether you tick the box or not so it's a choice with Linux 
and that's only on some distributions, like notably uh, anything based on Debian, anything based on Ubuntu. Uh, I think uh, possibly uh, Red Hat based things have something similar. What is going on here? Roadworks. Look at them just sneaking down the side. It's bloody cheek. Oh, we've got we've got a roadside incident. We've got a tanker fire. Woohoo! Now you would think <laughs> they'd shut a good stretch of the road for that. So yeah, with Linux also you get a hell of a lot of other choices that you can make. You can choose what type of um, layout your desktop looks like. You can choose um, whether to have or what to have like as a firewall. You can choose whatever what apps you want by default. You can choose to have none. You can choose to have no desktop if you want. It's all perfectly possible. And also you've got an awful lot of different um, pre-configured base setups as well like in the uh, Linux kernel plus GNU user space world you've got loads and loads of dis different desktop environments to choose from loads of different window managers to choose from loads of different init systems to choose from loads of different uh, 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 display managers to choose from you know the choice is yours absolutely yours and there's loads of different ways of getting your packages I mean increasingly now we've got things like snaps uh, flat packs app images which are basically containered um, programs uh, it's like if you get a Windows program off the internet and you get a a portable version it basically includes all the libraries it needs to run as a program that's basically what these are but um, a little bit slower aren't they and um, snaps are a particularly uh, Ubuntu thing and uh, they're not open source so that's another little bit of Ubuntu leaning into the proprietary realm and of course Ubuntu is working hand in hand with Microsoft on an awful lot of things these days as well. Now, Microsoft spend an awful lot of time and make an awful lot of contributions to the Linux kernel as well. But I'm not worried about that because while the kernel is still under the auspices of Linux Torvalds and uh, the Linux Foundation, I think we're going to be okay. They'll keep it policed and they'll keep it monitored and they'll keep it open. Um, so that's the thing. So yeah, I use Linux because, well, I've been using it for uh, 14 years now, so I'm used to it. And also, I trust it more than I trust Microsoft. So why do I not, why do I not use Macintosh? Well, because Macintosh is even more of a walled garden even more proprietary, even more uh, restrictive to what you can do and when you can do it and how you can do it. And also they're bloody expensive quite honestly. So yeah, I'm happy to use IBM PC hardware and run Linux on top of it because I can do my music, I can do my video production and I can play my games and that's all I really need. Oh and of course I've got my graphics programs which uh, obviously I couldn't live without. So yeah, so that's what Linux is and why I use it and why I don't like using Windows. Uh, so what else is there to talk about? I've mentioned the pub shutting down. Um, Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a bit weird. I have been a little bit concerned about the amount of beer I'm drinking recently, 
which is still about half as much as what the missus is drinking because she goes out far more often than I do. And um, yeah, so it's a, it's a drain on the old wallet and I don't really enjoy it quite honestly. The only time I enjoy going out and having a drink is when I go to the place that is going to become it's going to become the new um, I'm not going around that one. It only told me to change one lane, didn't it? Yeah, no, I don't need to go there. Oh. What's this? The park house. Wow. Don't recognise that. Where the heck are we? Oh, going through the underside of Stuttgart. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, there's the map and the yellow bits are the bits I've driven. So, yeah. Really need to do some more round here, but it's really dull and very old map round here. And it's very dull and old map around England as well that needs badly doing up. So we're actually almost there now, we've just got to take a right turn and drive into Stuttgart and we are done. And then I will say, Tay bye. And we'll have a tearful farewell. <laughs> tearful farewell. Yeah, you know what I mean. You'll get off and do your thing and I'll get off and do mine. Oh, and by the way, if you've got this far into the video, leave a comment underneath saying you'd like a bag of carrots, please. Just so I know. Because uh, most people just watch about the first couple of minutes and then think, oh, shut up, you windbag. <laughs> and quite right, too. to drop down to 30 pretty pronto am I not yeah 31 yeah good 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 ah, we're dropping off at LKW straight away good grief gonna change lane Where do they want me to put it? Oh, they got loading bays. But they don't want it in one. Good. Good, good, good. They'll unload it here. Good on them. I don't fancy doing any more reversing. Cool. So, that while they unload all that rye. Uh, we'll just hit continue. Uh, I might go and park up and sleep the driver because it's 1.35 on a Saturday morning. It's about time he had a bit of kip. Um, I'll save the game. And say so thanks very much for watching. And um, see you in the next video which will probably be a Linux one or a music one or a poetry one. I am planning a quite big music one where I'm basically going to be putting up kind of like a whole bunch of my favourite ones and I might also think about I'm thinking about doing like a poetry reading of about 10 poems or something just bung that up there see how that goes down alright thanks for watching catch you in the next one obviously <laughs>